<laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Road Time with your hope young chef. We grind it, rolling it, lighting it, smoking it. And I hope that we want Road Time the same fan I'm doing right now. All right, man. So today we're gonna do a little different. I'm gonna do actually. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm finna do it. We're just gonna do it how. Y'all see how we're gonna do. And for right now, man, we're gonna talk about Clemson and Alabama. How the hell the Irish went down? Roll it. Every day. Man, so here we go. What the hell? Honestly, I can't even say what the hell because I already know what's going to happen. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. Goldie Lux, whatever y'all want to call him. Um, Travis Travis Lawrence. Travis, uh, Travis Lawrence, whatever. However you want to say his name. I'm sorry. But they took advantage of that. First time they met with the Irish, they took advantage of that. Irish run. I ain't going to lie. The Irish did not run it down. I mean, they did not run it, like, back and forth. Like, it was... What, it wasn't even a dog fight when they first uh, beat Clemson. It was more like they were trying to win. It was more like they were, they were struggling to win. You feel me? So, I'm not a Clemson fan, as y'all can tell you. I see what the fuck I got behind me. So, I don't even question. All right, but we just in the ACC. And we just going to talk about it. Like, I understand my team is garbage this year. We canceled so many games. I doubt y'all team is the shit this year either. Cause... <sighs> but, nah, bro. How many people actually already knew that Clemson was going to take this game? Because I ain't going to lie, for the second meetup, I knew Clemson was going to take it. It was no way Clemson was not going to take this. Like, starting quarterback is back. <sighs> Thinking that the starting quarterback is back. He is watching the field. He knows who to throw it to. Bro, how the hell first game y'all go from putting 40? It was like, well, y'all went to overtime. So it was like, what, 44? No, it was 40 to 47. It was 40 to 47. Yeah, I got old one already. I see that one. I got that one open. Okay, y'all see right here. We got 40 to 47 when they first played Clemson, right? It was a dog fight. Well, first half, Clemson put up seven. They put up 10 on uh, Notre Dame, put up 10 on the first half, on first quarter. Clemson put up seven. Second quarter, six points, 13 points. Third quarter, Clemson didn't really. Uh, Notre Dame didn't even really score. It was all, it was Clemson. Clemson put up ten points. Then fourth quarter they put up ten to ten. Then they went to overtime. And that's how they ended up taking the game. But nigga, I'm telling y'all, this was a struggle. I don't care what y'all say. This was a motherfucking struggle because they knew the starting quarterback wasn't gonna be out. They took advantage of that. I don't know how because it's like y'all. For those that play football, y'all know how it works. It's like when you got the starting player there, bro. Everything's on point. He knows, like, he already knows, like, he, that's his job. He knows what he's doing. He knows how he's going to move. He knows how he's going to get the job done. But when you don't have that main person in his, like, when you don't have that main person starting, so you got the backup, so now everybody's a little iffy. And now everybody's a little iffy. Everybody's like, we're going to win, but you don't have that same confidence of, like, we're going to win because we don't have our starting quarterback. If we're going to win because we got a backup quarterback. and He's he pretty dope. You feel me? But that wasn't the case. They came out with the W on that first one. Come second game, I'm not going to lie to y'all, second game, I was really hoping, I was honestly, second game, I was hoping that was going to be, like, the second match, uh, the second matchup, bro, I was hoping it was going to be a fight. Like, I was hoping it was going to be a shootout. You feel me? Like, back to back, but it wasn't. I'm watching the game, and it's just like, Notre Dame only put up three points. Like, bro. All right. Where is that? First down, 23 for Clemson. Third, 18 for Notre Dame. Third down. Okay. Punt. Notre Dame punt the ball six times. Clemson only did it three times. So, with that being said, you know what? I'm sorry I'm mad to be honest with y'all. I'm not finna jump from the ACC. I fucked with the um, the FEC. You feel me? The FEC? I fucked with them because I only feel like the ACC and the FEC are the only top division schools, division schools that actually be bumping, bro. They be they be clapping heads or whatnot. So 
I only give them to mad respect, but top 10, Big 12 and all that, Pac-12, they all right. To me, they that, that is just all right football to me, bro. Um, I'm really trying to switch it up. So I'm making videos like this. I'm going to talk about the game, like what the hell happened or who thought that, you know, they were going to lose or whatever. Me, especially, I already told y'all, I kind of felt like Notre Dame was going to lose. Second meet up with the Tigers, no way, bro. Like, Dabo Sweeney, he's the dog, bro. He, he got some nigga in him. Like, he got some nigga in him, all right? That nigga, he, you see how he was calling out my Florida State team. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't appreciate it, but, you know, not him. But... I'm gonna catch on the next one, man. Look, I'm gonna drop part two. This ain't some part two. Let me drop part two. Man, look, y'all stay for the highlight. I'm gonna get at y'all. Y'all stay safe out the way. One love.